Hey, how's it going YouTube? Justin here from Label Tech. Got a cool little device in here today. It's called the Helo TC Assault. This is a RC helicopter for your Apple or Android device. It's made by Griffin Industries. Um, this is a full app supported toy, I guess as you would call it, um, that will run off of your app, downloaded from the app source. It's a free app. Um, the helicopter itself is going to cost $49.99 roughly, depending on the store you get it from, maybe a little bit more. Um, $49.99 directly from their website um, with a small connection piece that will connect to your uh, phone or iPod and be able to control and fly the helicopter. So we're going to go and get that opened up. The helicopter itself has a built-in 150 milliamp hour battery gives you about 10 minutes of flight it is a full USB charge um, device so you can charge it uh, probably off your computer or your phone charger if you have an Android this has supposedly a two missile device so you can actually launch missiles from it and two different modes of flying um, you can either fly it via the touch screen controls or you can do a tilt mode um, control. This is a what looks to be as a three channel helicopter. They don't have it listed, but it looks like three channel. Dual rotor blades and then a single back tail rotor. We've got some hidden twisties here. Uh, I gotta make these things fun to get into. Alright. So there is the helicopter right there. That is going to be the USB cable. They actually give two spare blades, four missiles. Oh, those are spare missiles. They've actually got two missiles in the helicopter already. And then. user manual, warranty, that'll probably be good for when you crash it into uh, anything in your house. Now this is an indoor only style helicopter. This is an IR style helicopter. There's The transmitter is all infrared, um, so no flying these things outside or else you will lose it or crash it almost instantly. And this must be the transmitter. This is what's going to hook into your phone. It's actually a nice sized little device. That will hook into the headphone jack on your phone. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my phone real quick. I'm going to see how that plugs up. Give me one second. All right, and I'm back. I had to just grab my phone real quick. Didn't really think that through ahead of time. But I'm actually going to go ahead and just slide this on here. Supposedly that'll hook, slide in just like that, and plug in via headphone. It's got nice little hand grips, that actually turns your phone into a controller. I'm using the Razer here. Obviously though this will work on just about any phone. It has full stretchable little rubberized tabs here so it doesn't damage your phone. This is going to require batteries I believe. Looks like two AAAs there and then probably two on the other side, yep. So four AAA batteries will be needed for the transmitter itself. And of course you'll need to download the application. From the marketplace. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and download that app. I'm going to go ahead and charge up the helicopter itself and go ahead and give it a test fly and review on that. I will say, just checking out the helicopter before flying or anything like that, it seems pretty decently built. Um, a lot thicker quality than things like little air hogs and like that. Blades are loose like they should be. Full fly bar on the top. Seems pretty decent. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing up and can do a test fly and go from there. 
What's up everybody, I'm back with the Hilo TC Assault RC helicopter from Griffin. I uh, actually had to do a little bit of playing around with this to get it to uh, work. Um, <laughs> a lot of testing and flying around. Uh, took a little bit longer than expected. Um, had to do a little bit of extra work to get it to work with my phone. Apparently Motorola has some uh, extra settings you have to go through to get this to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how everything works on it though real quick. Um, this right here will be the transmitter included. You will need four AAA batteries for this. This will slide onto your device. I'm just going to slide this in here real quick. It's all rubberized feet. It doesn't cause any damage. Plug it right into your headphone jack. And I'm going to go into the Hilo TC app, which I've downloaded from the App Store. It's going to give me a little warning. Um, it does want you to turn off the audio effects for this and also uh, put it into airplane mode. That way if you get a call or anything like that, it does not affect you. That um, It does go off of all sound input, so if someone calls you and you don't do that, your helicopter is going to crash more than it's probably going to anyways. Now I've done some RC flying before so this is nothing new to me. I will say right off the bat because there's no physical control sticks on this it is still a little unforgiving. It's not as sensitive as it should be. You find yourself looking at the phone trying to find where your controls are. That's not what you should be doing when flying. Um, so just a little thing. If, you, if this is your first RC helicopter, first device um, will be a little bit tricky. Um, but besides that the device itself responds very well. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we can fire this thing up. I don't know if you can see, this is your controller here. This right here will be your throttle. This will be your steering. And then your trim switches. And then you also do have your missile launch. Which actually works pretty well. I think I can do it without flying. I just hit my uh, camera. I'll go ahead and see if we can do a quick little hover here. Try to keep it in camera frame. Not a bad little helicopter. Um, pretty decent at flying. Um, not too hard. Um, definitely recommend. It does have a demo thing, or not a demo thing, but a safety thing where it only lets you go to half throttle at first. If you are new, go ahead and do that. It's not going to let you actually take off. You can just kind of slide around on the floor. Um, but it's going to save you from breaking some blades. I actually already broke one of the connecting rods. Um, it came with spares, but still um, saved you from replacing parts and like that. Now, this does also have some other features on it, such as a motion control um, flying. I do not recommend this. Um, it uses your tilt sensing to fly unless you have a huge area to fly with. Um, this is absolutely terrible. Uh, you will have absolutely no control over the thing at all unless you have a huge open space. Um, so I really do not recommend it. So I definitely recommend keeping that on the joystick. I do also recommend leaving the screen lock in case you tilt it. It'll actually flip the controls upside down in the middle of flying causing you to lose control. Um, but besides that it is pretty flyable. It's not as responsive oops, it's not as responsive to turns or anything like that um, as an actual RC helicopter. So again this is not something if this is your first helicopter or first flying device I would probably say push towards something else um, that's going to give you more control. This does not, you find yourself looking down, you can't remember what throttle you're at. Um, a lot of times you'll actually be at like half throttle, and if you lift off for a second and then put your hand back on, you could actually miss and you can't adjust throttle, which is bad. You, don't, you want to be able to shut that off if you crash or go into a panic state. It does have an emergency landing feature. Again, doesn't help that well. Um, and all it does is really is slows down the speed. Um, halfway through, actually, go to load this up, and it 
If you're in a panic situation, it does not work fast enough to save the helicopter. It's just going to be smashing the blades into whatever you crashed. Um, you want to be able to shut that thing off as quick as possible. Um, would I say buy this? Yeah. If you have spare money, you feel like wasting you know, 50 bucks on a, a toy, then go ahead. If you're looking for something to actually learn to fly and kind of, you know, learn to something small and move up to something bigger, I would definitely recommend going with something else. There's much better helicopters out there that give you full control with a, uh, an actual joystick controller um, that won't give you the problems that this does and it'll be a lot more accurate and let you move up to bigger things later. Um, but yeah, that's going to be about it. Until next time, peace.